So I'm just going to show you how to um, how I'm drilling lead for my uh, my sharpie, and um, uh, it's a little tricky because um, what happens with lead is as the drill bit heats up, it melts the lead. So then the lead causes the bit to bind up, and I've um, I've tried using a forstner bit for the job. Um, but the Forstner really gathered heat so quickly and jammed up really, really... And, it, you know, the first few times I used it was fine, but it must have become dulled enough, but I could never really sharpen it. But what has worked consistently from, you know, onwards has been the spade bit. Uh, very, very simple bit. It is easy to sharpen, but I haven't had to sharpen it since I started. The only thing I had to do was cut it off to length because I had to get it in the, in the press. And I've put a bit of tape around here to give me a rough indication of the depth that I want to countersink because I've got a countersink and then run this all the way through so we can bolt these lead tiles to the hull of the sharpie. Um, so these these tiles are about um, uh, 36, 37 kilos which is about the limit of what I can uh, handle because I've uh, stuffed up both my wrists particularly my left and I'm left handed uh, from sanding the sharpie so this is actually you know really hard yakka and has taken a long time and I've got to be super duper careful. So, I don't want to drop it. I don't want to give myself a turn yet. I don't do any of that. Okay, I'll just check on the, the levelness of it. It's pretty close. I'm not too stressed about it being perfectly level. Um, I'm just using these to guide the drill bit to drill through the hole eventually and then they're just bolts if they're a little off center you know off vertical it's fine it's a constant constantly varying curve on the bottom of the hull so nothing really is perfectly square so i get the spade bit in and let's position it under the press most of the weight is on these wooden blocks that are on the side of the press uh, and I've done that to make it a little easier to manoeuvre and pivot on and it's quite stable okay there we go right on the money using kerosene the lubricant and if we keep the pressure up and it's a slow running press it's the slowest speed it can run at if we do this it shouldn't bind up. So I'm just doing it slow pace. These are what we're trying to get out of long ribbons of lead. Uh, not little chips. The little chips fall back on themselves and then bind up. We're trying to get some long ribbons out of it. So. And it's running slow and these are not, you know, dangerous. It doesn't hurt to hold this, to feel this whacking against you. It's just sort of a gentle thud, 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 thud. It is heavy, but it's not um, not sharp or biting. I don't feel like I'm in any danger. I've got glasses on for eye protection. Um, and I'd be wearing goggles. But I'm just trying to get this depth right. If we get it spinning right, you can pretty much keep going. But then it'll jam every now and then. Um, so we'll get these off the way. Have a look at the depth. A little bit more. Alrighty. So let's swap out bits because now we need to go through with the the eight mil drill bit. This is harder to get in uh, because I need it to be that long, so I couldn't have a foreshortened bit. So. I'm lucky here I can get it up here but once we drill this back corner one I have to move the lead to get it in the slot. In an ideal world I think probably I'd have a bigger chuck. You know if the chuck was larger then I could get the bit in an angle because really that's been slowing the whole process down doing these back corners which are six centimeters in and we're three centimeters in on the sides three from the, this edge. And so this is the radius outside edge that is outboard, and this square edge is the edge which is um, where the centerboard case is, and the centerboard will pass through. 
So that's square. And it's that set back that far because of the Kielsen and the centerboard case. Okay, here we go. So we're going to put some um, kerosene in there, flood the hole. And what we're aiming for is a slow, well, the press is going slow, a gentle pressure and a plunge pressure that creates this ribbon. And if I can do this, you'll see the ribbon it creates. And I'll stop it and pull the ribbon out. So here's the ribbon. Stop it. Take the ribbon out. Okay. And with these ribbons, um, if it chips, the chips fall back into the hole and bind it up. But you get the ribbons out like this, and the progress is very, very quick indeed. This one side chipped and the other didn't. Going okay so far. And that's we're going to finish the hole. Got a good pair of ribbons out that time. Yep. Now we're through. So that is what I would call, call a perfect hole. Let's see if we can repeat that with the next hole. Yeah, really lovely long swaths. The spade must cool down quickly as well. I think that's part of the deal. Being a nice big flat surface like that, it must cool down quickly, which is why um, it's easy to use with lead. It's also easy to sharpen, even though I haven't sharpened it since I put it in here. It cut faster in the first few times I cut holes. Um, than it has been, um, but still cutting even if it is, even it might be a little bit blunt. So that was pretty cool. That was pretty efficient. So let's swap out for the, um, the drill bit. And if we're lucky, it'll go in, but it won't. See, we're jamming up here. So a bigger, a bigger chuck would be nice for this. So I have to move it and reposition it. Getting it back in the same spot can be really hard. ribbons giving it a chance to cool down one and a half 
half nice ribbons. This one sheared off. It's these little, it's little, these little pieces that cause the trouble. Yeah, I'm just starting to get a bit of a jam up in there now. So let's just see what happens. We might get lucky. Oh yeah, we got all the way through. Very pleasant. That was, I think that was quite a lucky run, but all the elements are there. Slow drill press, constant pressure braking to um, stop, you know, stopping the process to pull the ribbons out. Plenty of kerosene lubricant um, and sort of a, you know, a, a reasonably slow uh, pace at doing it. Uh, and you'll get through it fairly quickly. And of course, handling the lead, which I think probably is the most dangerous part is the is the sheer weight of these ingots. They, um, they're nasty and they um, I feel any minute now they're gonna fall on my safety thongs and um, and uh, break my break a foot okay 